today I'm going to be using this beauty. So I got this yesterday after seeing all the mixed reviews. I had to grab it myself and see what everyone was talking about. This palette legit broke the internet. But keep on watching it if you want to see how I got this look. So I've already gone in and prepped my face. I'm going to go in and paint my face with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Might as well have a roller. <laughs> and I'm going to go in my blending bed and just buff this all So I have been requested to do some videos, which I was meant to do this week. I've been a bit poorly, I had a sinus infection. So I'm going to be filming them this weekend. So I'm just going to go in with concealer under my eyes. I really need to get a new concealer. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I would love to hear what you guys love to use under your eyes. I'm going to do some bake today. I haven't baked in so long. I don't really do heavy baking anymore. I fancy doing like really glam full coverage makeup. So I'm just gonna go in with my new look translucent powder today. I've run out of my own mouth. Stuff I go through tons of it a year. And it's like in my throat. F20 and just brush up the forehead so I can do my eyebrows. I love this brush, it's so fluffy and it just gets powdered off so nicely. I love it. I will link it below because I believe everyone needs this brush. It is so fluffy and so soft. It's amazing. So I'm going to try in Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow for the first time. I got this yesterday with my palette, I've never used it. Haven't even swatched yet, I don't know what colour it is. It looks like it'd be okay, I'm going to go with that. So no idea how you apply this, but I assume it's with a small angled brush. So I'm going to go in my Sigma E65 brush. Use my brows, they are hot, horrific. I haven't had them done for so long but I'm going to go and get them done for Monday. Oh, that's dark. Oh my God, you get so much payoff, just a little bit. Oh my God, why haven't I tried this sooner? This stuff is amazing. Normally I have a problem where, where I do my brows, because my hairs are so light, my brows just look ridiculous because the powder and the pencils are dark and you can still see the light hairs on top when you're close up. This is actually covering the hairs. I look like I've had my brows tinted. So I'm just going to go and do the other brow and then I'll be right back. So I just went back over with the Stigma F20 and brushed off with the powder. So now we're going to go on with the eyes and that's when we get to bring this baby out. I'm excited. These have like a velvet texture. It's so beautiful. What the palette looks like. Let's dive in and see. 
So for the eye look, I will be using my new Sigma brushes. These are from the Basic Eye Kit. I'll link it below. And then I'm going to be trying to do my eyeliner with the Wind Liner brush as well. So I'm going to go in with this shade Dawn here. I'm going to go in with my Stigma Tapered Blending. That is E40. There is fallout. I've dipped my brush straight in. There is fallout. But it's, it's not a lot of fallout really. I'm just going to go all over. As you can see, I think it has blended out quite well. I'm going to go into this colour edge with my Sigma E30 pencil brush. When I go in, I'm literally just pressing quite lightly. You can see there's not that much fallout. I think you have to be really light handed with this palette. I'm just going above my crease with this colour. This was the colour I was most excited for because I love mustard in autumn. I was really excited to have like a mustard eyeshadow. I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush. Just kind of buff it out a bit. So I think Edge makes a really pretty crease colour. It's blended out really nicely. So I'm really happy with that. Now I'm going to go in and try this new wave colour. I'm going to go in with the same brush and just go over the top on the outer side. And then with my blending brush again, I'm just going to brush it out. Yeah, I find these colours blend really well while still holding the pigment and you can still see where I put it down which I hate when you get eyeshadows and you start blending them out and it just blends out everywhere. Now I'm going to go in with All Star, same brush, just on the outer edge of them. That's really cool. I'm just going to blend that in. So I'm just going to cut the crease out. I'm going to use my Manicadar powder just to set it over the top with my Sigma E70 brush. So now I'm going to be going in with this colour Destiny. I'm going to be using my Sigma E55 shade brush. I'm going to swap my Sigma for my Spectrum A13 just because it's a smaller brush. It's a bit easier to work. Find this colour a bit patchy. Now I'm going to wet the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush with my NYX Fixing Spray. I'm going to go in with this Adorn. Yeah. It's a really pretty metallic shade. And I'm just going to pat this on the centre. I'm just going to go in with my Sigma Gel Wicked Liner and I'm just very lightly just making the lash line a bit thicker. It's the Sigma Winged Liner E06. It is so thin and it's making it so easy to do my liner. I've done my liner already. It's so quick. Now I'm going to go and pop some Ardo Wispies on and I'll be back. So now I've popped on my Ardo Wispies, I'm going to pop on some Rimmel, Scandal Eyes, Mascara just to blend my lashes. So on the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with this Axis colour. It's so beautiful. Look at that tail. I'm going to do the Axis tail. Ah! Fall out. Then I'm going to do the inner corner with the colour Mercury. Then I'm going to get the brush that came with this on the flat side and just smudge it all. 
Obviously, for this tour, I have to test out one of the duo chrome colours. So I think I'm going to go for the green electric one to put in the corner of my eye. I'm going to get the brush that came with the palette and just wet that again. The camera is not really picking it up, but it is really shiny. This eye look is so full and autumn. It's really autumnal colours and it's got that retro 70s vibe which I'm loving as well. I just love this palette, I think it's so pretty. As you can see as well, there was hardly any fallout, but I am going to go in with my Manicada HD Perfecting Powder. I'm just going in with a little sleek brush, just to go under the eye, just to brighten it up and get rid of any fallout. Eye lips finished, I'm going back in with my mascara, just on the bottom of the lash line. So first up, I'm going to go in with my NYX contour palette with this shade. I still can't get over these brows. Like, so good, I didn't try this product sooner. <laughs> it's in my life now. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma. F20 fluffy brush and use my Milani baked bronzer in 04 glow. This brush is so soft. So because I have oranges on my eyes, I really want to use an orange blusher. So I'm gonna go in with this sleek little trio. I have and I'm going to be using this colour here. Just add a little orange on the cheeks just to tone it all in together. So because I really want to try the cube, I'm going to see if I can highlight down the centre of my face. So a bit on my nose and a bit on my lip. So I'm going to be going in with cube. This is going to be with a dry brush. This is the Sigma E70. It's got a perfectly toned depth. It's a really nice, it reminds me of the NYX highlighters, that duochrome. Really pretty. I know if it's showing up on camera, like it is for me. It really is. Finish off with my highlighter. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Peach Lights. For lips, I'm really unsure whether to go for like a brown or my Colourpop Black. I think I'm going to go for the Colourpop Black. Just to be really grungy and bold, I go straight in. So this is the ColourPop Friday. So now that I have the black on, I'm actually going to go in with electric and dab it over the top. I love that, that's so pretty. And then now I'm just gonna go in my next fix and spray. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love how versatile this palette is. I mean, I've used it as highlights, my lip color and my eye color. I just love it. And I guarantee there's even more ways that you can use that. I'll post some photos on Instagram, so make sure you go over there and follow me. I will link that at the end of the video. Remember to click down below to click thumbs up and subscribe so you can see my future videos and I will see you next time.
Thanks for watching.